get real in relationship court etiquette expert Eileen Swan lays down the law coming up right after this. All rise, etiquette expert Elaine Swan is presiding and she's ready to make her rulings in Hoda and Jenna's Relationship Court Etiquette Edition. All right, here's how it works. Uh. We've got some folks here who are having a disagreement in their relationships. Each person will present their side of the case and then Elaine will issue a final ruling along with some advice. Yes. You ready, Elaine? Okay. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Lee, tell us about our first case. It's the case of the dinner date dilemma. Eli and Choice have been together for four years. They love going out to nice restaurants, but don't see eye to eye on appropriate dining demeanor. All right. Okay, Choice, you're going to have 20 seconds to make your case, and then Eli, you will have 20 seconds to rebut. Does All that right. sound good? Yeah. Okay, let's put 20 seconds on the clock. Choice, you're up. Yeah, so I love Eli for who he is, but Eli's just not that formal. You know, when we go to fancier restaurants, I want us to represent ourselves well. When I look up, Eli's jamming the chicken with a fork. He has sauce on his face, you know? <laughs> and don't even get me started if he's hungry. If he's hungry, in 10 minutes, the plate is gone. And I just don't want to feel embarrassed and judged. That's all. Okay. okay. You want to take it easy. All right. That does make sense. Okay, Eli, it's your turn. Can we 20. put 20 seconds on the clock? Uh huh. Let's go. Listen, I'm the kind of guy who loves to eat, all right? So whenever I see a delicious meal on the table, I'm trying to eat that meal as fast as possible. Because I truly be hungry, you know what I'm saying? So whenever we go out, she wants to eat properly, eat all nice and neat and petite. The same way I dress, the same way I eat. Very carefree, don't care who judges me. I'm paying for the meal. I'm your man. It shouldn't even really matter, you know what I'm saying? Let's have a good time and enjoy our food. Wow! This is going to be tough, but Choice, okay, what, let's ask a few follow-up questions. Okay. So would you feel comfortable, Choice, if you went to a less fancy restaurant? So something that's more casual, pick up the food with your fingers, that kind of place. You know, sometimes we switch it up. Sometimes we do go to, like, casual places, mm -hmm. which is fine. I don't really care. But when we go to a fancier place, you know, I don't want people to be like, oh, like, why does he have sauce on his forehead? Oh. You know? <laughs> so. okay. okay, okay, I think that's, that's a good sense. rebuttal. Okay. <laughs> Eli, now, if it wasn't as frequently, like, Maybe if you didn't go out as much, would you be willing to meet Choice halfway and up your etiquette game if you didn't go I out? I would. As much? I feel like the more meaningful it is, like if it's a special occasion, yeah. I would like, you know, eat more properly for her and just like, you know, do it the right way. <laughs> Wait, I feel like y'all have somehow worked this out without our judge, but Elaine? <laughs> okay, here's what I have to share. The thing about etiquette is etiquette is, is a lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. This is something that we don't turn off and turn on. Mm -hmm. And the key here that I'm hearing is that you're doing something, Eli, that's making choice feel uncomfortable. And etiquette is about putting others at ease. Hands down, most especially in a relationship, regardless of who's paying. All right, so my <laughs> ruling is for choice. You yeah. gotta get it. But together. Eli, you, Eli <laughs> needs to say your style's awesome. You're Thank a stylist. You so <laughs> yeah. So, but I did like. I didn't think about that. That etiquette is actually for the other, other people. Yeah. I, yeah. I actually thought it yeah. was how I think. I don't care what people think about me. People do make an assessment about who you are based upon. But even if he yourself. doesn't care how people feel, he should be considerate of the way yes, she feels. Yes, exactly. And dining out is not just with choice. It could be a job interview. You might want to try to get a big deal and have somebody put some money in your pocket. But I would but say, not with sauce okay. on your forehead. That's the way that's why she admires me too because I don't really care about people. That is true. Yeah. I don't really care about the judgment. That's mm -hmm. why like my style is the way it is. So yeah, yeah. she does like me for that reason as well. I totally, and I yes. feel like that happens, but doesn't it? Not at the. Ta she's telling you at right now, not at the table. Okay. Everywhere else, yeah. but at on a fancy restaurant. All right. Thank Very you, nice. guys. guys. Thank you guys for having okay. me. See why there's Thank love there. All right. Time for case number two. What do we got? It's the case of the travel troubles. Dana and Audra have been friends for 15 years and work with one another in sales. They enjoy traveling together, but disagree on how to spend their downtime. Oh, that's dramatic, Audra and Dana. Okay, guys, you have 20 seconds to make your case. We'll put 20 seconds on the clock. Audra, you go ahead first. Okay, so Dana and I are in sales, skincare, makeup, obviously. <laughs> Times a year we get to travel to really exciting cities, and when our conference and classes are done for the day, I want to hit the ground running. I want to explore, see the sights, and of course we get a group of colleagues together to do that. But Dana's my close friend. I want her to join and have that adventuring feeling together in a new city. And okay, okay, Dana. So Dana, twenty seconds on the clock. Go ahead. 
Okay, so obviously I love <clears throat> I love traveling with Audra mm -hmm. and our other colleagues. But um, after the workday is done, I am a busy mom of two, a 15 year old and a 16 month old. I like my me time. I want to relax, so I don't want to have to go 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 on our downtime. Okay, well, okay, those are very good arguments. But Audra, would you be comfortable yeah. uh, traveling and spending that downtime with your other colleagues? You mentioned you are with them, but you would like your friend to go as well would you be comfortable just going on your adventure and coming back afterwards and sharing a drink and catching your sure. friend up yeah yes and no I want Dana to feel like she can relax while we're away but she's my buddy we're, we've been so close for 15 years and we don't get to see each other that much anymore because we don't live close together so I want to have that oh special that's your time. time okay okay I get that Dana now would you be willing to join Audra for an adventure or two as long as you also get that time just to you know watch Netflix of course and don't get me wrong I love to sightsee just as much as Audra. But my thing is I don't just I just don't want to have to be committed to it. Like right. if I'm in the mood, yes, let's go. Let's go out. Let's You don't want to sign up and yes, do in advance. Yeah. Like if my that. mood feels like it, all right, I'll okay. do it. But sometimes I want to chill. All right. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. All right, etiquette would dictate that in the business environment, when you're traveling, you do not have to hang out with your coworkers. That's not something you have to do. However, this is a friendship, all right? And mm -hmm. so with friendships, there's certain things. In this instance, I'm actually going to side with Audra. And here's why. <laughs> Listen, Dana, it's important for us to nurture our friendships. And if you go, go, go at home and you want to rest at, 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 at work trips, when do you have time to spend with your friend, right? So take a moment to spend with Audra. But Audra, you have to cut her a little bit of slack. <laughs> all right? She cannot do everything with you. Just so maybe just one thing. So Audra, I'm going to rule for you. <laughs> However, with that caveat, give her some grace. Yeah. All right. Give her some grace and allow her just one time and then you can rest on I, I, I mean love, Dana I, I do love that advice I think that too. makes such sense because if you're not spending your time with your friends when you're on a work trip yeah. when are you totally able to do that but that's also yeah. a good a good boundary yeah, give nice her sound but not too much all, all right. right thank you so much you're great by yeah. the way. <laughs> excellent all right if you want a case heard in relationship court head to hoda and oh. jenna.com hit the connect button and share it with us Come